weekend it is currently good friday and i thought i would start today's vlog obviously i've just had a really nice bath as you would have seen i just love having a bath on like a slow morning especially a bank holiday it just feels so relaxing so i used some of my um products like i used my bath salts and a new bath bomb that i got from lush which was like this flower one and it smelt amazing made the bath go all pink and it was just really nice and i have given my hair a good wash because it was in desperate need i'm actually getting my hair done in a few weeks and um i'm really excited about it it is in need of TLC. So yeah, I thought I would start today's video here. I'm about to dry my hair and then I'm gonna get ready for the day and do my makeup, I think. I'm gonna show you like my new sort of, whoa, that just went really dark. I'm gonna show you my new sort of no makeup makeup routine um, because I've really been loving my makeup at the moment when I do it. I don't really tend to do my makeup too much anymore, but yeah, on the days that I do, I really love it. And I think I'm gonna have a good spring clean this weekend teddy's barking because callum is playing with him he's probably got like a ball or something that teddy wants him to give him or is he barking at another dog out the window he's really found his voice recently and uh can't say i'm happy about it he's in his like teenager puppy phase so he is not naughty but he's actually really well behaved but he just sort of ignores us sometimes he's like no i can't hear you or i can hear you but i'm just ignoring you so yeah that's that's so much fun having a adolescent puppy guys i can't believe that he is going to be a year old in june a year that's mental can't believe i'm gonna have a year old dog you can't really call them a puppy then when they're a year old or can you <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go and dry my hair quickly and then i'll show you my makeup routine really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i love spending days with you i just love vlogging so yeah i'm really really excited to spend the day with you here is the culprit of the barking <laughs> ah, whoa crazy dog he's so big now compared to a few months ago he's literally had another growth spurt yeah, I, am. I mean he's still not massive he's never gonna be like a big dog because he's wow. i think they class him like a miniature cockapoo the weight that he's at he's like what did they say was 8.1 kilograms yeah oh so yeah he's not gonna be big but i'm gonna carry on drying my hair okay hair is now dry and i'm gonna move on to my makeup so I've just put my skincare on, which is my usual skincare. I did do it in a vlog, but I don't know if that vlog will be up before this one or after. Probably after. But I talk you through my skincare in that video. So I'm going to use, I haven't used this in so long. and I need to get a new one actually, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I love this. This is in the shade 6 Neutral. Um, I'm going to do my brows first. And I use the honey, the pink honey tinted brow gel thing. This is so good for the days when I have no tint on my brows. Like my brows are so light right now. Um, but I am getting them done, I think in a couple of weeks or a few weeks. I'm actually going to a new person and their calendar was quite full. So I had to wait a few weeks to book in. But I think I've got my patch test next week. But I'm very looking forward to getting my brows done. With this, you literally just pop it and you don't have to do this very neat at first because I go round it with my wipes, but just to get some color on all of the hairs. And this holds your brows down for so long. I know that looks crazy trust the process <laughs> and then i literally just press them into place and that is what they then look like and i do go over it as well with a little pen i'm then going to put my foundation on i'm not going to use too much of this because i want to have like a lighter makeup today and also I feel like if I put too much on with my fake tan looking how it does, which is not great, that's so bad. Um, 
I feel like every time I do a vlog, my fake tan is not looking on point. But it's because I do it earlier on in the week and then I was going to do it last night and I didn't because we went out for dinner. So yeah, I've just got to <laughs> deal with it looking all patchy for another few hours before I do it tonight. But I absolutely love this foundation because you can like build it as well to how you like it. The difference in my skin tone right now is so funny. So I'm actually getting ready to go out with my sister this afternoon. Um, Callum's going to get his hair cut and then he's going to go meet his friend. So me and Jasmine thought we could go for a little girly day together. And I'm going to take you guys along. We're just going to have a little mooch around the shops. Hopefully we're not going to be too late getting there because I think the shops obviously shut earlier on a good Friday. And then I think we're going to go and get some food. So I think that's good enough for <laughs> foundation. And I'm going to use my concealer, which is the HMB Cosmetics Concealer. This is so full coverage, so you really don't need to use a lot. I'm always very careful of how much I apply, but it's good because it means it's going to last me so long. Like the difference that makes is just so mad. And I thought while I was doing my makeup, I could just give you a little update. Um, so I did talk about this in the vlog that I mentioned hasn't gone up yet. I'm actually still waiting for a brand's approval. So I don't know if it's going to go up before this one. Obviously, if it does, then you'll know this already because I will have told you. But I got my celiac diagnosis through. Uh, so I am now a fully fledged is that the word celiac girl um which i knew was gonna happen like i just had a gut feeling that that's what it was so yeah i'm finding it okay but i am struggling a little bit with the eating out aspect like me and callum went for dinner last night and i got a gluten-free option but obviously with the gluten-free options the restaurants aren't necessarily gluten-free like verified or whatever you call it so it's very hard for them to sort of put measures in place and obviously they do what they can but you get the same answer which is we can't guarantee it and i've found that a lot since i've started eating gluten free because i have to um with celiac disease it's not that you like it's not a choice obviously um and it does actually have severe health effects on you if you do carry on eating gluten um, so I'm very careful. It's kind of made me a bit worried to like eat. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I'm trying my best. I did have a bit of a bad stomach yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the restaurant. And obviously they can't, they can't help it. It's not their fault. Because if there are gluten meals being cooked every single day. Then obviously they can't. But... Yeah, that's sort of the aspect I'm struggling with the most at the moment. But we'll see what ZZ's is like. Apparently it's quite good. I actually think it might be gluten-free certified. Like by the, there's like a foundation. I, I can't remember what it's called. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's been my life for the past few weeks since I found out. Well, a couple of weeks um, since I found out. Or maybe it's been a week. I don't think it's been too long. This is the Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting, by the way, in Cookie Butter. I absolutely love this. It just melts into the skin. Um, so, yeah, that's one update. And then you may have noticed that I haven't really been posting too much on my YouTube recently. Like, it's sort of been one video a week. And I don't know, like, I just haven't really had the time. I have time to do the one video. But I've actually picked up an extra day at work, which... I'm really happy with you guys would have heard me mention that I've been in my job now um I always say new job it's not a new job anymore it's just my job um I've been there for over a year now and I was working three days a week um it is an office job and I'm a learning and development coordinator which is I mean it sounds fancy but <laughs> i'm just used to it now it's it's not that fancy but it's really really fun and i really enjoy it i really enjoy the company that i work for i really like working with the people that i work with and i wasn't expecting to like the job as much as i do and as it got busier i was like right well i'm getting a lot more work and i feel like 
the business would benefit from me doing an extra day obviously it's a little bit of extra money obviously it's nice to have a little bit of extra money um and yeah i just thought well if it's getting busier and i really enjoy what i'm doing then why not so i have been doing an extra day on a thursday and then i have the friday off so that's been really nice i don't do too many hours on a thursday it's only like six but i've really been enjoying it and i'm also starting an apprenticeship with the company which is so cool like i'm so excited about it and yeah i feel very grateful that i was able to do that with them so that starts very soon so i have been <laughs> busy <laughs> and obviously i love youtube and i love connecting with you guys and i just like it makes me sad a little bit that i don't have that much time to do videos but at the same time like i'm really loving just having a normal job that i love if that makes sense so i'm gonna try and do two a week it's not going very well i said that before and it's just not not working because i just don't have the time like adult life is so fun isn't it like you just have to keep on top of everything like the house and working while also trying to keep your mental health afloat and and all of that stuff so yeah it has been a busy time but i am still doing youtube guys i am still doing it i'm still gonna do it regardless of whether i have a full-time job i mean it's not full-time yet i mean you never know but even if it was i i really wouldn't mind because i just love love the job that i do and love the company so yeah i just wanted to update you guys i'm not like slacking i'm not just thinking now nah, i'm not gonna post a video this week i am so busy and um just trying to navigate sort of a balance between working and filming and also what kind of videos you guys would like to see like let me know if there's anything that you want to see in particular i don't know if like hauls are sort of a thing anymore like does anyone enjoy watching hauls or is it mainly the vlog content that you come to me for it would really help if you could just let me know because i can base that around the content that i do especially if there is only going to be one video a week i can make sure that it is a video that you guys want to see and if i ever have extra time then of course i'll post an extra video but um for now i'm just trying to navigate my way <laughs> just trying to just trying to figure out life just like everyone else on this planet i feel like when things happen in your life that are sort of quite impactful it puts things into perspective and i don't know like i feel like my my priorities have changed quite a lot over the past few months and the things that i value and uh i don't know i feel like i'm just chatting gibberish but i'm hoping you guys get my point <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, I'm using the Revolution XX Fine Brow Pencil just to sort of underline the brows. And then I'm using the MYX, what's it called? Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen. This is so good, by the way. I think I've got this in the shade Ash Brown. And it's so good at just like detailing the fine hairs although my one is starting to leak a little bit and i don't know why and obviously yeah i do i do understand what like a privileged position i'm in like to be able to do something that i love um like an actual job that i love does that make sense like when you're working with someone else it's a bit i don't know it's a bit like mm. but this is the first job i've ever had where i've actually enjoyed what i'm doing and the actual company like i like the company and then obviously i get to do this alongside it which is so great i'm then gonna do a little bit you literally only need a little bit of this blush because it goes such a long way so that's the uh, made by mitchell liquid blusher in sweet cheeks it's such a pretty pink color but as i said you literally only need a little bit because it's so pigmented and if you use a bit more than what I've used, you obviously get like a deeper pink colour. But I like it to be just like a light blush as if I'm sort of cold or, I don't know, <laughs> just got some rosy cheeks. So I guess I could be warm. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm talking about today, guys. And then I am going to curl my lashes. I'm going to finish it off with a bit of mascara. 
and then probably put a little bit of lip gloss on and that will be my makeup because I'm just really loving the light makeup especially now that we're going into spring although what is going on with this weather I'm so sick of the rain I feel like I looked really weird doing that but um I'm absolutely sick of the rain and I've now got a newfound hatred for it because I have a dog and when it rains that means muddy paws and I never experienced the hate for rain before because I used to love it I used to feel really cozy just wrapped up inside and since having a dog it's gone out the window no just bring the sun bring the sun and the warmth and the dryness because I can't deal with wiping his muddy paws every time he goes outside. I have actually just bought a um, spot cleaner and guys, it's brilliant. It's so good. I tried it, um, I've tried it a couple of times now. So I tried it earlier on in the week and I used it on the carpet because there are some stains on the carpet from when we first got Teddy. And of course we're renting, so I don't want that to be there um and they're like neutral carpets as well so every time i was looking at it and i'm a perfectionist if there's like the slightest thing that's out i will notice it so every time i was seeing stuff like that it was making me really stressed and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get a spot cleaner so i got one from curry's and it's the vax spot cleaner and oh my goodness it's so good i tried it on the carpet um, earlier this week and they look so good I haven't finished it yet though because I ran out of solution so I need to get some more today um but honestly you can't even tell that there was a stain there now and then I did it on the sofas yesterday and they look good as new I'm so impressed with it so I really recommend if you guys have pets or just kids or anything just if anything's dirty you can use it in the car as well which I think I'm gonna do and um yeah it's just brilliant i did it yesterday and it's already dry this morning and it just looks so good but i need to get some more solution for the water tank because it's run out they only give you like the smallest little pot in the actual box so i have to get a bigger one today and then i'm gonna do the rest of it i might do it with you actually i might show you i need setting spray i put it away and I forgot to tell you what mascara this was, sorry. <laughs> I get so distracted talking. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Panorama Volume Million Lashes. And I get mine in the shade brown. Um, I really like the dark brown mascaras. I feel like it brings out the colour of my eyes more. It still does look quite dark. Like, I think you would still think that this is black. But up close, you can see that it's like a dark brown colour. And then the setting spray is the Beauty Crop and Amelia Livia Glow Milk Mist. smells so nice and it holds your makeup for so long apparently it's a dupe of the charlotte tilbury i've never actually used the charlotte tilbury setting spray but apparently it's a dupe of that and i feel like my hair's still wet yes it definitely is i'm just gonna dry my hair a little bit more i actually double shampooed it today i saw a tip on tiktok i don't know who the girl was it was on my for you page and she said i think it was like five I don't know like hygiene tips I wish I knew early in my 20s now that I'm nearly 30 and I watched it and she said double shampooing changed the game for her and I don't double shampoo and I never have I didn't even know that that was really a thing so I've tried it for the first time today and my hair is feeling so good like it felt good anyway but I didn't realise that double shampooing was going to make my hair feel so good so this is your sign to try double shampoo in but yeah i'm gonna go um dry the rest of my hair get dressed and then hopefully jasmine will be here soon to pick me up because she's driving we're gonna go to cheltenham so guys this is the outfit of the day you can see the back of it in the mirror I'm just wearing this jumper from h&m and then i'm wearing my black cargoes which are from primark they were from like last year i think or the year before so these ones here and then I'm going to wear my Teddy Blake bag with this. For all of you that know, I've had my Teddy Blake bag for, I think, about two years now. And this is the bag that I'm talking about. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love this. And look how 
good condition it's in after two years and I use this a lot like if you go through my Instagram you'll probably see multiple different photos of me wearing this bag the inside is red what have I got in here oh I've got a perfume a little perfume oh this is Giorgio Armani C I might have to put some of this on <laughs> This is a skill, <laughs> multitasking. But yeah, I absolutely love the detail of this bag. Like the logo, Teddy Blake logo is there. It's one of the magnetic clips as well. I love the gold detail on the strap. And it literally goes with every single outfit. I'm not over exaggerating. It goes with every single outfit. And it's actually a reasonable size. So you can fit like your purse in there, your phone, makeup i have taken this out on multiple nights out and i've had everything in there yeah i absolutely love it so um you can actually shop the teddy blake sale at the moment it's from the 29th of march until the 1st of april and you can get up to 70 percent off i know it's a good deal it's a good sale to have a look they have multiple different styles and colors and um yeah i really highly recommend they're such a good investment because as i said it's lasted me two years i think but if you do miss out on the sale you can also use my discount code which is tb sophie fay 30 and um, so yeah if you do miss out on any of the sale then you can use that as well on any of the bags so definitely recommend Vlog. You, I actually don't know the last time you were on the vlog. I think it was ages ago. But um, Jasmine doesn't like her outfit, and I really do. I think it looks really nice. And uh, we're on our way to go get some food. We're going to ZZ's, which I don't know if I've ever. Whoa! Jasmine's got a new car, and she loves to uh, <laughs> play around with the acceleration. Um, I don't know if I've been to ZZ's. But I, I definitely have been. That's I don't. Yeah, I think I've been to ask, but I don't know if I've been to ZZ's. I must have. I think the ZZ's I must is, have. You know Worcester. Yeah. Ask Italian is that little shop in the corner, and then ZZ's is the one opposite, like on its own. I have no idea. No um, lashes. Just a few at the left lash. Oh yeah, I definitely haven't been to that one. Have. Haven't. Uh, but I've had a look at the menu and they've got some really nice gluten-free things which I'm really excited to try and we're so hungry so um, excited for food and then hopefully we'll be able to go into a few shops but we still don't know what time is. It says online about five but I don't know so we'll see. What are you looking at? <laughs> we're in ZZ's guys we had a, a mare finding it because of my lack of direction yeah i we thought it was somewhere else <laughs> but we've just ordered our food and we are so hungry what are you getting the sticky pig <laughs> they do gluten-free sticky pig <laughs> what did you get i got the pollo <laughs> <laughs> something you can't pronounce pollo picante spicy hummus chicken breast pasta Nice. So we'll see what it's like. <laughs> I hate this in my face. <laughs> <laughs> It's a double rainbow. There's one above it as well. Look at that massive rainbow. Ooh. It's huge. Let's go find the pot of gold. Yeah, I was just about to say. <laughs> okay. We're on an adventure. Oh Victoria. In 200 yards, turn yeah. left onto Oriel Road. A4. <laughs> turn left onto <laughs> Oriel Road. <laughs> We're in B&M. I've just spotted this. Strawberry swell scent. Mm. Can I smell it? Mmm, that's so nice. The 
I've got some gorgeous plants, guys. Like faux plants. What a welcome home. Hello. Hi, darling. Oh, he's like, I know you've got me some stuff in that bag, mum. You just told me. Oh, my goodness. You found it. Do you want to see? Yeah? Shall I show you what I got you? <gasps> and should we show the vlog? Yeah? Okay. Wait, Teddy. Wait. Should we show everyone what I got you? Come up here, Ben. Come up here. Come here. So, you've got some more treats. <laughs> some nice treats, the sensitive ones. He loves those. I got you... Hang on. <laughs> I know what you want. I got you a big bunny. Big bunny. Oh, it's a happy Easter bunny. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're going to go show Dada. Show Dada your bunny. <gasps> you got a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> He's already off with that. And Teddy, I got you something else. I got you a turtle. <gasps> oh, a turtle. Whoa. It's orange and it's got a hard stomach so you can chew on it. And I got you another cheese stick. <laughs> Whoa, let me take the label off. Hang on, let me take it off. There you go. <laughs> and you know what? I got you something else as well. I got you a bone. He's like, yeah, thanks, Mum. Okay, can I open it, please? Let me open it for you. Now, this is filled with chicken. You love chicken. Wait. Wait, please. Wait. What did Mummy get you? Wait. Go. Good boy. So that's everything I picked up for Teddy. He's like, I'm gonna put it next to my cheese. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna just put all of my stuff next to each other and uh, look at my stuff. This is actually what I do. Um, and then stuff for Dad. Oh. <laughs> got him some Freddos. You trim, by the way, guys. Yeah. Back short. He got his hair cut. I got a deodorant just because I ran out. That's just the Dove Invisible Dry. And then I found the VAC solution in b and I literally looked in home base, the range, and then b and came through and had it. So this is the spring fresh one. Oh, laid it on it. Mmm, that's nice. Lovely. So that's going to go in the VAC's wash. You can literally, it's behind Callum. You could have seen it a minute ago. Um, and then, oh, I got myself a little kinder surprise because I can have those, which is great. And then just a lip balm, tinted lip balm. That was it. That is literally all I got today. Um, there wasn't really much that I wanted or needed. Um, oh, and I got a hand sanitizer as well. So yeah, that was everything I picked up today. I didn't need anything we were just going for a mooch really and for lunch so yeah that was everything i do want to get a candle at some point because our candles run out now that one on the coffee table but we didn't go anywhere that i get candles from i don't really get candles from b&m anymore because i don't feel like they last very long and the scent isn't as strong so yeah i'm gonna eat my little kinder surprise John, what why did teddy bear get more than me <laughs> Teddy actually needed some new toys. Ripped up so many of his toys now. That didn't last long. I love a kinder. Mm.
Hello everybody, it's now the next day and as you can see I'm in the car and I've just pulled up to my mum's house because we're actually going out for the evening. I forgot to vlog earlier today, I have literally been um, non-stop today. I went out this morning with Teddy up um, a hill that's why did I say it like that? Up a hill that's near us and it's like a nice walk. So we didn't do all of it because I didn't have enough time. And also it was so bloody hard. Like the hill's quite steep. So I went with Teddy, took him for a nice morning walk and then I went home. Jasmine then picked me up because we went to Cheltenham again because Jazz actually got a tattoo today. So I went with her and then yeah I literally got home popped into boots then went home and then had to quickly get ready to rush to my mum's house because we're going to like this I literally don't even know how to explain it some like reading thing it's like this event um I've never been before neither has my mum we don't know what it's going to be like but it wasn't too expensive so um we're just going to go see what it's like but it's like some psychics I think who are running it I don't know <laughs> we're just gonna go and see what it's like but yeah I need to quickly go because we've got to drop off my brother at work first and then yeah we're gonna go hello everybody <laughs> excuse <clears throat> what I look like I look like a ghost right now um and I'm so tired because it's actually really late in the evening now I feel like this camera is making me look more pale than I am in person though and I don't know what's going on with my skin we're just not going to talk about it I have just not literally just got back but I got back about an hour and a half two hours ago from the event and oh my goodness um it was so crazy so it was actually run by two guys um one of them does like read and tarot cards and I think maybe both of them do um, but one of them was reading tarots and also like reading like you gave him a date and then he was picking like a passage or something from a book to read and then the other one was doing actual readings and we were sat down we weren't like near the front we were sort of like off to the side um we weren't too far back though and instantly this guy looks over at my me and my mum and says like I am getting a really strong energy from you and he's like walked over to me and I've given him like an item to sort of hold and I don't know and he literally said some crazy things insane things that I can't even explain like how he knew them there were certain things that he said that just I, d I just don't know how he knew um my nan did come through and said some stuff i know that not everyone believes in this stuff and that's absolutely fine like everyone believes their own things um but i personally really do believe in this kind of stuff and i did speak about a while ago an experience i had with a psychic that just really wasn't very good and um i haven't actually gone to one since then so we went to this event it was me my mum and one of my nan's friends and it was just honestly i just it unexplainable can't explain it to you um but yeah my nan did come through and she told me some things which were just amazing like she was talking about my wedding and it was just i don't know <laughs> There was just some things that she said that just no one, no one knew or only one other person knew. Like there was something that was said that only myself and my sister knew about and oh, I just, I can't explain it. I was literally, not sobbing, but I was, I was crying. Like it caught me so off guard because I sort of went in there with like very low expectations. I didn't sort of expect anything but instantly I just knew that that guy was going to come to me first I just knew that my nan if she was there and she had something to say she would be straight in there like my nan wasn't one to just I don't know <laughs> like if she had that opportunity I just know that she would be straight in there which she was and she was talking to myself and my mum and it was just so weird <laughs> but so nice I just can't believe some of the things that he said like i'll tell you one thing that isn't too personal um but this is just an example 
So he told me that my nan is there with me when I'm singing in the car. She said, <laughs> you sing when you're on your own in the car at the top of your voice, especially when you're happy. And that's really true. Like, and obviously no one else would know that because if I'm on my own in the car, obviously no one, no one knows that, but she did. And that's what he told me. Oh, and then he also said that she's, especially with me, when I'm driving in the car because I'm heavy footed and I hate big roundabouts, which again, I haven't ever really spoken about that. Only people that are really close to me would know that. And um, yeah, it was just, that's just one example of something that he told me that isn't too personal. The other things are quite personal, but um, yeah, I just, I couldn't believe how much was right of it it was pretty much all correct which i know is very rare for a reading um normally it's like the guy did say that it's normally like 80 to 90 percent correct he said no one's ever going to be 100 percent correct and there was like one th maybe a couple of things that he didn't get right but the rest of it i just can't explain it my mind is blown i just and it was like a group event so i think i'm gonna book in for like a one-to-one -one, but that was an unreal experience like it was just how can you deny that something is there like if like you go somewhere after you die i just can't believe it guys but anyway it's very late and i'm gonna go to bed and then tomorrow um i'm gonna do the carpet cleaner with you and then i think i'll i'll end the vlog because <laughs> i've been doing this over a few days now um but yeah i'm very delirious very tired I really don't know what's going on with my skin. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's now the next day. <laughs> Do you want to say hello, Teddy? What's your little tongue doing? <laughs> happy Easter, everyone. It's actually the day that you're watching this video. So happy Easter, guys. I hope you are having an amazing day. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because Teddy's fur is so dark. But I feel like... The camera makes him look a lot darker than he is like he's actually not he's like a chocolate color but he sort of looks black on the camera <laughs> Mwah, you're such a gorgeous boy um yeah i really hope you guys are having a lovely easter i thought that we could do the little vax cleaner this morning together because i haven't had a chance to do it since i started this vlog yesterday was so chaotic like i was here there and everywhere but i had such a lovely day yesterday and um yeah we're gonna have a really nice day today we're actually going for lunch at my parents i think they're doing like a roast dinner I've got all of my gluten-free stuff at the ready to take with me. <laughs> I always order stuff um, off of Avocado now. Um, I think I have mentioned this to you guys. We've been using Avocado for like a few months now, I think. And we absolutely love it. They've got such a variety of gluten-free stuff. So it's great that I can still have like my Yorkies and stuffing and gravy and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, really grateful that we are able to do that so i'm going to take all of that over to theirs later on i think we're going in a few hours but until then i'm gonna clean the carpet downstairs in the living room and i thought i could show you guys the vax cleaner i've had again a very slow morning today i feel like yesterday wasn't a slow morning mm, was it a slow morning i think it was <laughs> don't you find that bank holidays all blur into one like you can't remember what you've done on each day that's my life i just forget stuff so easily but yeah very slow morning today um i'm ready i've done my makeup i actually used a new product that i picked up yesterday um i don't think i showed you guys but i popped into boots with jazz after her tattoo i got a couple of bits from boots so the first thing that i picked up was the rimmel london kind and free moisturizing skin tint foundation i actually didn't realize that this was a foundation i was looking for more of a tinted moisturizer but i've used it today and i actually really like it i feel like it's a good thing to have when i haven't got fake tan on i mean i do have fake tan on guys i'm so bad i always tell you in my vlogs oh yeah i'm gonna redo my fake tan tonight and then i never do i still haven't done it Hence the uh, turtleneck jumper and the long sleeves trying to hide the evidence that I haven't done my fake tan. But yeah, my face is quite pale at the moment. So 
I got a lighter shade. This is 150 Rose Vanilla. And um, I think it really does match my skin tone, which is good, which means that I don't have to worry about being a completely different shade when I haven't got fake tan on or when my fake tan's looking a little bit tiger bready. And then I also picked up a new eyebrow pencil. Hello, Canon. Really just does not like to focus sometimes. So I usually use the NYX, no it's not, it's the Revolution XX Fine Brow Pencil, but they had some of the testers out in Boots and there was literally like, there was no other products, it was just the tester, there was like two of them. One of them was in my shade and I asked the lady and I said, do you have any more of these because there's literally just testers out? And she obviously pulled out the drawers, had a look, and she said no. She said she thinks that they're discontinuing it. And I was literally there like, what? I love that eyebrow pencil. Because they were so cheap as well. They were like £3.50. And she was like, yeah, I think that's why there's a price reduction. So I've gone back to my MYX micro brow pencil. I got this again in ash brown. I think my revolution one is ash brown as well. Oh no, it's a soft brown but i got ash brown for this one and um i really like it it's not as good as my revolution one but i do really like the mix one i also got some makeup wipes for my brows because i'd run out and i think that was it yeah first impressions of this i really like it i feel like it's a lighter coverage which is nice it doesn't really feel like you're wearing too much on the skin i mean you can still tell that like you're wearing something because it is a foundation still but it's a lot lighter than the other ones that i have it does look really nice on the skin i have put some powder over it and i've also put a little bit of bronzer on and yeah i think it's really nice for first impressions it was um not too expensive either it was like 9.99 so i'm happy with that and i also think the shade match is really good too so definitely worth having a look if you're looking for a skin tint I've got so many skin tints now guys it's actually a joke i feel like i have more skin tints than i do foundations now that's what i like at the moment um so i'm gonna go and do the carpet cleaner now there's a few spots on the living room carpet that i want to get out today so i'm gonna show you it so this is the spot wash guys you have the water solution here which i've just filled up with water and obviously the solution there is like little lines on here somewhere i think it's on the inside that tells you where to put the water and the solution like what level to put it up to i think you can see it there and then on the other side i've just rinsed it out which was so easy to do but this is where the dirty water goes and then you've got the brush here and it literally squirts out here the water i know do you want to be involved <laughs> see what i mean guys he looked darker on camera earlier he's actually not that dark he's like a chocolate brown color you match your bed don't you you match your bed oh you're a good boy do you want your cheese stick good boy so gentle so yeah this is so good i should have probably rinsed out the uh head but whatever we're just gonna go for it so the area that i'm gonna start on is here as you can see there's like a few muddy patches it just doesn't look the cleanest so i really want to spruce it up a little bit and get it all nice and clean i'll show you how i use this because as i said it's so easy to use now just a word of warning this is quite loud <laughs> now what the carpet is looking like it looks so much cleaner very very happy obviously it needs to dry um because it is still wet but all of the mud is gone amazing so that's your sign guys to have a little clean this easter bank holiday i think i'm gonna do a bit more cleaning tomorrow i think i'm gonna take today just to relax spend time with family and have our meal and then yeah we're gonna I'll probably clean tomorrow but that is going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog guys i really hope that you've enjoyed it 
don't forget to give it a like if you did and also subscribe if you're new also don't forget to check out teddy blake's link in the description box below the sale is now live so you can shop up to 70 percent off which is amazing but yeah the link is in the description box below have a lovely lovely easter weekend and i will see you in the next one bye